buzz, jingle buzz, jingles all the way. Na 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 na. Hello guys, it's Christmas time, so today I want to show you an Italian dessert. They're called struffoli. They really create addition. They're easy to make, so let's start. What do we need to make this recipe? 400 grams of flour, three full eggs plus one yolk. 70 grams of uh, melted butter, I just melted this, I'm gonna wait that it cools down a little bit 40 grams of sugar 15 grams of uh, aniseed liquor uh, You can use any other type of liquor that you have, but the original recipe is with the aniseed one Then an orange, a biological one, not treated because we need the peel, we need to grate the peel And this is actually the first thing that we're gonna do It really takes uh, one second to grate the orange, eh? I'll show you how to do this Done. Now that we have all the ingredients prepared, we can start working. First thing that we do, we put the flour in. Then we put our eggs. The sugar. The orange that we just grated. The butter that is now cold. And we add our liquor. I forgot to mention that I put some a spoon of yeast already in the flour, I already mixed it. So a spoon of yeast, don't forget that. So now you just mix it. So when it's almost all solid, you can move it on the table and, and you work the dough nicely. So the secret for working the dough is that you have to have sex with it. If you don't have sex with the dough, it's not gonna come out correctly. So how do you know when the dough is ready? It's very easy, because when it doesn't stick anymore and your ends are clean, means that it's ready. Plastic film around it, like this. Now we put the dough in the fridge and we let it rest for at least 30 minutes. Now 30 minutes are passed, we're gonna have to cut the dough and to do that we're gonna need a knife. Like the one in the horror movies. Hey, what's up dough? How's it going? Did you rest? Yes? Let's go then. So, it should be a little bit humid. So what we're gonna do is put some flour on the table. We're gonna slice it. Now that you shape them, the only thing that you need to do is to cut pieces of more or less one centimeter. So that's what you're gonna have. A little bowl. So while I'm making the fantastic little bowls, I want to remind you that you can follow me on Facebook, uh, YouTube and uh, Instagram. It's always Valerio's Kitchen. So I'm almost done here. This dessert is very famous in the south of Italy. It's a Napolitan dessert, so specifically from Naples, but they do it everywhere in Italy. The word struffoli should come from uh, a Greek word, strongulos, that means uh, rounded. That's why there are all these uh, little balls. So let's move the struffoli on a kitchen cloth, just to dry a little bit. What we need now is uh, peanut oil for frying the um, struffoli. Now that we have our golden pepitas, we're gonna put some uh, honey, 200 grams of honey inside another pan. We're gonna make it liquid and then afterwards we're gonna mix our um, struffoli in the honey directly. So now we're ready to put them on a plate. Wow. 
Since the honey is sticky, we're gonna cut the origin off and we're gonna use it to make a spherical shape. Once the honey cool down, we can put our decoration on top. So I'm using this, I have absolutely no clue the name in English, and some uh, chocolate silver balls. This is really the typical decoration that you should use for your struffoli. They're great. You should try this recipe. Let me know if you like the new video style. I didn't have the cameraman today, so I arranged something myself. Let me know if you like the recipe as well. If you like the video, anything, put a like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Most of all, this time, Merry Christmas and uh, ciao. See you to the next video. Ah, 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 ah. I forgot to mention that uh, this uh, dessert lasts for a few days, so you can prepare it as well uh, many days in advance, uh, so it's very convenient, it's fantastic. I think now I told you everything, so ciao and Merry Christmas again!